welcome back to my channel it's Trinice Jarnae and I am back with a hair review and this time I am so excited to share this with y'all I mean just look at this hair I just feel mm, like a whole new woman y'all um but anyway if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button um like comment share all that good stuff um or not you should purchase from this company or not um, and I'm thinking definitely you should. So I'm going to be doing the unboxing, showing you like from start to finish all the things that I did to kind of achieve this look and also to kind of go through some of the pros and cons. Um, so the hair company that we're reviewing today is Premium Lace Wig. And I did a video previously before um, on their Brazilian Deep Curly Bob, which I loved. And it was only $45, y'all. So I was like, well, I'm kind of sold. The quality was good. And I was like, I can't wait to buy another wig from this company and see if I get the same feeling. And obviously, I am. 10 times over. 10 times over so anyways i can give you some of the details of the wig but it'll also kind of be in this description box below or in the screen next to me um so the details this is a brazilian straight wig it's 180 percent density um it's 16 inches but it is like really long like i'm very used to getting like the short 10 inch 12 inch but this company like i've gotten like a 12 inch before and it felt like a 14 or 16 and this kind of feels the same um, so that's another good thing about this company. Um, also the parting space is a 13 by six and I'm kind of like going back and forth whether or not I still want a 13 by six or a 13 by four, but it just basically means like, look how far this part can go back. Now I don't personally need my part to go that far back, but it does help if you want to do anything like bobs, half up, half down, anything like that. Um, so I'm going to show you what it's uh, what I received when I first bought this wig, um, all the things that kind of come with it, what did it look like before I did anything to it, um, and kind of dive back in. Okay, so now let's look at all the wonderful things that come inside this box. So first we got the rat tail comb. Um, we have the wig cap. We also have this nice little pouch that they can they include that you, I guess you can put things in. Um, it also kind of comes with its own elastic band and um, clips that you can use, which is nice. And last but not least, it comes with the wonderful wig that I'm about to transform. Again, here are the details of the wig. And this is what it looks like. And so we're about to take everything off so I can show you how the wig comes. So this is what it looks like when you hold it up. Turn it around. And on the inside it has the elastic band that has these hooks. But I'm going to end up removing those and placing them a little further down. The three combs. One on the side, one on the other side, one at the back, and also the adjustable straps, as you can see. Then you hold it up um, to kind of look at what it looks like as far as the knots go and as far as the fake scalp goes. This is what it looks like freshly washed. So this is what it looked like after I cut the bang, flat ironed it. A couple days ago, I had put a little bit of curls in it, but I'm about to refresh the curls so that you can see. like some nice good old edge control and I use the she is bomb collection because it works for me whether I'm natural whether I'm relaxed it just does the job very very well um and I also picked up their hair wax stick and they're starting to sell this at regular beauty supply store because I usually just order this offline um which is very helpful like when you're dabbing it into the part to kind of like smooth it out and it's very good before you, you know, put your hot comb on it to kind of like press it down and kind of flatten it. Um, so these two products go hand in hand and get the job done. Now, I did use a little bit of mousse and I'm like down to my last drop. 
um you can use any mousse but i just use a lot of body but um you can do this to kind of tame away like the flyaways like down here if you feel like it's just getting frizzy or whatever the case may be um you're also going to need some foundation powder so i bought two um one i use for the part and being that this is like the fake scalp method you really don't need much um because it's fairly light but just to kind of like blend it in all the way up to like my forehead um i use this for the part and it's a little bit lighter i have no idea what the name of this color is y'all um but yeah and then this one i believe is called ebony so i needed something that was like match my forehead a little bit more because i felt like when you dab this one like right on your edges right at your forehead it just doesn't match with my skin tone so i got two to kind of get the job done um of course good old-fashioned brush i really didn't do a whole lot with like the edges or making baby hair i attempted and it was terrible so i just undid it um i also went ahead and cut like a little bang because i felt like it was already doing that anyways with like making this into a side part it was already starting to like swoop except the hair was real long so it looked dumb so i just went ahead and cut it and you're also gonna need some tweezers y'all i originally thought like this hairline was just gonna be fine by itself minimal doing anything as far as tweezing but when i put it on i felt like i looked so fake like it looks so wiggy and i hate that look like i didn't even want to wear it so i was all discouraged and i was like you know what i'm gonna get <laughs> i'm gonna get to work on this wig i'm gonna make it look good so i went back and i was over here tweezing for quite some time um it probably still doesn't 100 percent look how like you know other people who try on like straight wigs and you see them put on a bun or they like melt the lace into their forehead but i did just enough to do what i needed to, to do um so yeah so anyways those are some of the products that i use to kind of achieve this look a little bit um and it really didn't take much like i said you just have to kind of customize it to what you like uh what you want the hair on to look like what kind of look you're really trying to achieve i might switch it up and go for a middle part but i'm just a side part kind of girl but um i might switch it up and just to kind of see what it'll look like in like a week or two but i'm loving this wig like i said the hair is mad soft um, not too soft like I said my curls when I originally curled it it just still lasts like there still was a curl at the end of the hair so um, you don't have to keep curling it every day or every two days like it can last as long as you're not doing anything crazy to it um, other con was the adjustable strap so originally they put the adjustable strap like somewhere like right here and they give you the option like they have the one that you can sew in it yourself but they also have the one that already kind of comes in it and you just kind of hook it but being that it was like right here it didn't make the rest of this kind of lay flat so that's why you kind of have like those flaps like this is glueless y'all if i haven't mentioned that already but i did not glue this down whatsoever um it is holding on just by the adjustable strap and that's it like it's tight and secure it's not moving nothing um so i just didn't like it because it was starting to make like my almost like my temples kind of like sore and i didn't like that at all so i just like undid them and like sew them on down here so everything could kind of lay flat and i didn't have to worry about like gluing anything down or whatever the case may be um and my last one is just i've been trying to get them y'all <laughs> to like partner with me so i can review some more of the hairs and they haven't been responding to me but other than that like if you're a customer they're very like responsive as far as like emails i think they even talk to people on like whatsapp if you need any questions immediately um, but yeah, they're pretty great with communication aside from that. So those are all my cons. As far as my pros, fast delivery, y'all. I got this less than seven days. And you know, they're, I think this company is out somewhere in China. So for me to get it in less than seven days, like it probably was like five days. Because I was checking like every single day. Y'all know I'm like mad and patient when I order something. I want it right here, right now. Um, so they were pretty quick with delivery. I had like no issues. Um like i said the quality is really good it's, a, it's affordable um if you feel like 165 dollars is like way too much like i said you can always tweak it with like the inches the density that you get they have a lot of sales going on all the time and they have like a lot of ways that you can probably get for under a hundred dollars at that and like still be good quality like i said in my last video that deep brazilian curly bob hair like i've gotten 
uh, I paid way more for like whether it was like sew-ins or another wig and the quality was trash like I, every day I had balls of hair like this company no like it's I would say I got like some shedding with this but that was only when I was like really plucking it and like <laughs> hair was everywhere but outside of that like just regular shedding like I'm not going like this every day and a bunch of hairs coming out of my hand like not at all very minimal um what else the fake scalp method I am getting used to that like I said that's very helpful because I don't have to bleach any knots and I'm like in 2019 like who is still bleaching knots like I'm not I'm not doing that like I need it to be quick and easy and as convenient as possible so I really love the fake scalp method um I would probably try to see if they had like a um darker wig cap to use because I feel like that probably would look a lot better but I just deal with it it's it's fine it blends just well um the packaging I love all the things that they give you uh let's see lots of party space and yeah I just think overall they just have like I'm not a, a, there <laughs> they have a lot of nice wigs they probably aren't as popular as some of the other wig companies but it's very beginner friendly um very affordable quick and easy delivery um and they always have like sales and everything going on so if you were thinking about like well I just want to test out something like I want to just try something I'm already like, well, I want the bob next, like the straight bob next. So let me see what other thing they got. They're always coming out with new stuff. So I highly recommend this company, y'all. Uh, I don't think you would be disappointed. So yeah, I think that's all I pretty much have to say about this wig. I'm so glad that I finally customized it to my liking. Like now I'm, you know, feeling myself and whatnot. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.